Hi everyone, it's Dina today. I'm going to walk you through some more steps using Google Classroom. I'm going to show you how to grade and how to attach assignments and create some of your own that can be editable for your students. So let's take a look right now. So I'm on my Google Classroom right here and you can see that the main page is going to be like your announcements. So think of it as like a news feed, things that are going to pop up for your students. Now under classwork, you can create topics and your topics are almost like your subject area. So if you want to break things apart, you can easily organize it into that area. You can see that I have items under daily questions, reading, writing, math. So let's pretend I want to create a new assignment. Now the difference between just posting something right here and typing it in is that this is more of like an announcement style if you wanna have them watch a video, if you do something, but you don't mind if they don't all have their own version to type on. If you wanna create something where students each have their own version, you're gonna to wanna to do it under an assignment. So as you create a new assignment, I'm gonna show you how to attach something um, that I'm working on, but let's pretend you want to make your own. So this is something I created for my students. They are able to click on different activities here and it's going to either bring them to links or to slides that they're gonna write on. So if they're going to write on here, you can see that if I put my mouse, they can't touch any of this. They can only type where it says type here. I do this by making this part a background. So I first design it on um, PowerPoint. You can use Google Drawings, you can use Google Slides, whatever you're comfortable with. You don't have to create it like this, but if you don't want them to be able to edit everything around and just the text, you can do this. So let me show you. So let's pretend you wanted to make some response sheet where you didn't want them to write. You can come into a Google slideshow, your own one. You can go around here. You can change the font, whatever you choose to do. And you would fill, you would create these. And let's say you want um, to make some kind of chart or a grid or something that your students are going to type on. I can make a little grid here. I can stretch it out. Always hit the line tool to change the color and the thickness. Looks like a pencil. So let's say I want this to be shown, but I don't want them to be able to touch these. Just type in it. You can save this on Google Slides by downloading it as an image. So you can click download and you can click an image. Now this does take a bit of a time, so you know, it's going to be a process, but it's worth it. So now I have my sample image. So let me show you here how you would add something. I would just hit new blank slide and I'm going to right click and I'm going to change the background. I'm going to choose the image from my files. Now, if it's in Google Drive or something from the internet, you can also get it from there too and I'm gonna add my image as a background. So now my students are not gonna be able to type and touch this grid. They're just gonna type my, where I give them the boxes. So you can list boxes that say type here, or you could put like, um, how are you brainstorming? You know, you can ask them questions and they will then type things in and you can put this in each one of these spots to make sure it's editable for your students. So now that you have your editable file, you're going to attach it in Classroom. This is a STEM activity, so I'm going to name it that. And I'm going to add this as an attachment. Here it is, and I'm going to make sure that I hit 
make a copy for each student. This allows each student to get their own file that they can write on. Don't just hit edit. Edit means everyone is editing the same exact file. So now that I attach this here, I am going to be able to send this to my students so they all get their own copy. Now, if you didn't have something that you already made, that's okay. You can also just do create a doc, a slide, a drawing, a sheet, a form, and this will still give students their own copy with the title that you name it. So just to keep yourself organized, you can still have students, the instructions could be write what you did today at home, but you can give them a doc that they can each then get their own copy and this will keep it organized for you. So you can name it a specific date or you can name it, um, you know, favorite movie, let's say, and you just want the kids to do like a diary journal, that's fine. It doesn't have to have anything fancy, but students will each get their own copy and this will be easier for you when you're grading and organizing. So now you can come here and you can pick whether you want all students to get this or specific students. So let's say you're differentiating and you don't want every student to have to do the same thing. You can unselect certain students from getting this file. Okay, you can also choose if it's ungraded or how many points. So even if you don't normally grade out of 100, you can do whatever points you grade with. And if you want a due date for your students, you can come up with a due date so that they know when it's due by. And then here's where you can put your topics. So since, since this is enrichment, I'm going to hit create a new topic and I'm going to attach that. And you even have the ability to add rubrics. You can schedule it as a draft so that you can go back and edit it. If you're not done, you can schedule it so that it can be scheduled at a specific time. So if you wanna plan out things for the next few days, you can automatically say, you know what, this is actually for Friday. Set this up for Friday at eight o'clock and it'll automatically go on. Or if you're ready to assign it, you can hit assign. Once it shows up on your Google Classroom, your students will be alerted of it and you will see it show up here. So if I click on this, I can see that it got sent to two students. Zero turn it in. Now your students don't have to necessarily hit the turn in button, but so that don't get affected by that as much. And then it says that two were assigned and I can see the whole assignment if I click on it. And here are my other assignments. Now, just for you to know too, there's not, you don't just have to attach assignments. You can also do questions. Like this can be a daily question that you do. You can do an open response question. So if you hit here, you can see that there's these different options. So a question allows you to either give it as a short answer or even multiple choice and add your options here. So if you want to do something fun or take a poll with your students, you can do that. If you just want to attach material, you can do that or a quiz. So now under grades, here's where I can see my grades. So if I'm clicking here, I can actually easily type in what the grades are and the student will get notified of that. I can hit view assignment and I will be able to see this student's specific work. So if they had written on here, I would be able to see exactly what they wrote and it's so easy for you to grade because you can come over here and add a comment and say, you know, this was great, but, you know, what, what about this? Or how about if you work on adding this? And you can give them constant feedback. You can then give them their grade and you can then give them any comments here that you would have listed. So let me give an example. Please describe your invention some more. They're going to get this listed here, okay? I can see right under the same link. I don't even have to go out and move around. I would be able to see this was the document where they would write their journal. And I would see it right there. Very easy to do. Now to go to my next student, I just come up here and I can type and go right to my next student and I can view their work and scroll through theirs and leave comments and say, oh, you know, work on this or losing points for this. 
and I can see all of their work. So this is why attaching as an assignment is so much more effective for you as a teacher because you're going to be able to come here and easily see this and you can then transfer this to your grade book very easily once you have all of your students. It will keep track of all of your work and you will be able to get everything in this one spot. You can also go and click on Google Calendar and see when your assignments are due. So if you're trying to plan everything out for yourself, you can see when you are labeling everything as due. And don't forget about organizing the topics. If you decide to move something, you can just click and drag and move it to a different topic. If it's something that is um, needs to be switched around, you can just do that and always create new topics. Then if you click on class drive folder and you'll notice in your actual Google Drive, there is a classroom folder once you make a Google class, you will also see all of the items in here as well. So if I look at STEM activity, I will see all of my students work in here. So there's two different ways to get to it, but because of the new grade section, this is gonna be the easiest, okay? I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any other questions.